Yeah. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Bad C, aka Nicholas K, aka Larry K. Lodge, aka the Lucas Baby Barber. Yo, welcome back. We got another episode of your favorite song. This is the place where I sit down with the best of the best and I ask them, hey, what's your favorite song, B? But before we even go into that, I tell them what my favorite song is as a fan, you know, to give them the fan perspective. And then we go into whatever the session was like. And, you know, y'all will see if you haven't seen the previous. But tonight, it is my indubious. Is that the word? In, is that a word? In, do, it is my utter honor to introduce Hands down, my favorite rapper. She writes all my raps. Uh, you know, she writes all. My- <laughs> especially the ones that you won awards for. We ain't even introduced you yet, B. But Nori said you gotta relax. You gotta relax. <laughs> no doubt. But um, yeah, man, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna let her come on because yo, y- y'all gonna love her, man. Y'all gonna love her, ladies and gentlemen. Honey De Niro, what's good? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Nothing. Um, you know, we it, this is kind of awkward, you know, the interview with you because you, know, you know, it's like, you know, so I guess we'll just get to like the nitty and the gritty. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, honey De Niro, you definitely been on the scene for a long time. Um, very to to me, I feel like very unsung. Um, you're, you're one of those artists that was like me, you know what I'm saying? Was, was a fly on the wall for a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, which was, it gave us the ability to soak up the things that we know and, and apply. So that's that's one of the things that, that drew me to you as an artist. Now, and I mean, I'm, I'm a little biased because you're also a six man entertainment artist. I'm a little biased, but, um, I think that um, your pen is is definitely top tier, and um, I could go on and on and on about it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna let the music speak for itself. How you been? I've been good. I've been good. You, you, Hustling. You've been good. Mm-hmm. Hustling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what do I know? <laughs> I know you're working on some things. I'm gonna let you tell them what you're working on, because you know, I'm gonna let you tell. Them. Well, um, I'm I'm actually working on two albums right now. Um, I'm looking to release something on December 31st and then turn around and release something like mid-January, maybe the end of January. Um, um, my baby, I would say. My my this has become my baby of a project. Um, bitch. Um, so I'm trying to release that. I'm kind of taking my time with this. So I'm trying to release that in January, but um, I have a surprise. We'll talk about it. I have a surprise for um, the end of the year. I just want to finish up the year nice. And I want to What's do- up? What's up with Bitch? What's, what's up with it? Like, who, who, uh, who's producing it? Uh, bitch, is, what? B- bitch is produced by a team demo. They, they produce in every joint on it. Um, I have some surprise- Guest features, including yourself. So that's not really much. I mean, the, the verse, the verse was whack. That I, you know, the verse was whack. Stop! You, need to stop. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you definitely need to stop. Like every joint that we do is just, is just fire. Like it's the perfect, um, it's the perfect blend. Um, it's, yeah. it's the right seasoning in the, in the, in the food. Um, so I'm, um, you know, thank you. Thank you for always lacing the joints I ask you to be on. Um, and it just, it, it sounds so dope. Like I was just listening to a couple of joints that we did today, including um, including um, the Devil's Reject album. And I was just like, damn, like we, we, we do some joints. But um, Bitch is produced by Team Demo. Shout out to Team Demo. They're doing a the whole thing. And this project uh, is just very special to me. So I'm not going to. I'm gonna handle it right. What does bitch stand for? It's an acronym, right? Before I totally crush her. Yeah. Yeah. Cue, cue to Michael Myers music. Yeah. 
Yo, yeah. yo, that sound like that sound like some real Cobra Commander shit. Before yeah. I totally cross her. That, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that this yeah. is this is the the finish of yeah, Mortal finish. Kombat. Yeah, yeah, this is right before yeah. that, before that move. Um That's real, 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 real. Yeah. Real. Yeah, and well, I want to start off the year like that. Well, you already know I'm I'm super proud, and you know I I mean it goes without saying I support it all. You know what I mean? If, if, you know everything that I could do, I, we get it done. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to jump right in because I know I know you're busy. Um, I'm gonna jump right in to from my perspective as a fan of yours, mm-hmm. what my favorite song of yours is. Now, we've had this conversation before. It hasn't changed. You know what I'm saying? Um, a, a lot of my guests, I let my guests know that why I pick what I pick. And a lot of times it's either the nostalgia, right, what was going on around around at the time, um, who I was chilling with, who I was, you know, it'll be things of that nature or if it evokes some sort of feeling. When I when I comb through your catalog, the record Alkaline Flow, that's on Pink Honey, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Alkaline, y'all make sure y'all check out Alkaline Flow off of Pink Honey. That record was so hard. Like that was one of those joints that I said, damn, I, I'm so glad I'm not on the other end of that gun. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like that's that's whoever was at the end of that gun. R.I.P. You you know what I'm saying? Cause cause it, it was it was heavy, yo. It was heavy. Like as an MC, I was like, damn, I, I, I why you say that? Or damn, why why when when it's joints like that, you know that that's you know what I'm saying that that's that's one of the ones. So tell me about that session. Um, first of all, who did the track? Now I know that that project you were work you you were going through cancer. Uh, if you were in remission at the time or <laughs> this is when you just were diagnosed? Um, <clears throat> it was during chemo. It was during the time I was taking chemo. Um, the session was no matter how drained I was, yeah. I had to get out all my thoughts, all my feelings. That was my, it, it was my therapy. Yeah. Of what I was going through. Um, finding out I have the most aggressive form of breast cancer there is. And being under the deadliest of chemo, the strongest of chemo there is. Two chemos at that. And so, um, Alkaline Flow, it was produced by 3Q Beats. He's from Shout Ghana. Down. Yeah. Shout out to him. Um, I, I listened to it today and I was like, damn, son put that, oh, he put our hurt, like he, oh man, that beat was just so perfect. And it's crazy because it was one of those joints, I think it was, uh, it was like a four pack he sent me that I had kind of passed on. So I felt like um, when I, I, at first I wasn't going to record anything. I was just going to write and, you know, but I made it my business to get in the studio. So um, it was during winter. I'm anemic now. It's in the garage of my house. Um, You know, my mom was there and she was just like, you don't let your ass down. And I was like, nah, I got to get this out. This is part of my therapy. I got to get this out. Shout out to Mama Jewel. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was very important to me. And she understood it when when she was listening to the records because I'd have her come in and like listen to this. And she was like, yeah, you know. And um, alkaline flow was like, I'm learning about alkaline diets and acidic diets and water. My favorite water is essential water. Like I've always had a, a thing with water. And I said, you know, I probably shouldn't be talking yeah, about blood, yeah, blood clot fish. 
Yeah. Lord, Lord yeah, Fishy. I, <laughs> I had to replenish because, yo, that chemo will dry you out. You'll be gray yeah. and dusty and, you know. And one of, one, of, one of the waters that really helped out was the essential water. So when I, when I wrote alkaline water, it was like, it, 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 it said everything I needed to say. The alkaline flow, I'm sorry. It said, it, it, the verse was like, the verses were, was everything that I needed to say, how I was feeling. Like people, people slept on me, you know, people, people left me for dead, so to speak. Like when I said that I had breast cancer, it was like, oh, you dead. You know, yeah. I hadn't yeah. even started chemo yet. It was like, oh, she dead, she out the game, you know, and it was crazy because I started seeing movement. Like when I was, when I was in the city, when I was home in the city, nothing was moving and I was everywhere. I ain't seen nobody. Nobody was outside. I stepped away. I'm starting, ooh, bing, bing. I'm starting to see people who, you know, and that was, that was, that was the, that was the battery in my back. Cause I'm like, oh, y'all some suckers. <laughs> y'all some suckers and so um it was everything that I had in that session and I think yeah. you hear it in 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 that song and then I put it together I found the perfect sample for it I mixed it you know I put it together and it just it came out crazy I yeah, think, it's fire it's I think fire. I woke the neighborhoods up yeah it's, it's definitely, definitely fire. Definitely uh, my favorite. Now, you, you know, you got a lot of joints you, that, that's really, really fire. But it's like, if the alien came down from space and was like, yo, play me a honey record, I'm playing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get off that. We're going to get on the part that everybody's been waiting for now. Out of your whole catalog, right? It could be a song that never came out. It could be a song that's on your hard drive that you you know what I'm saying? It could be a song you featured on. It could be a song you any song that you were a part of. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite? What's Honey De Nero's favorite record? I would have to say Alkaline Flow. Mm. I mean, I, I captured everything in in that. Um, just, just like I went, I went back. I was in present time, and I went to the future in in this record. You know, twenties um, with stuff like fifties, nothing skimpy, big butt, big titties. But now the seas are sit pretty. I mean, you know. Fuck cancer coming to get me. Alkaline flow or water 950. Like the way I, I just I bounced on that beat and 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 just you know what I was saying was like I recognized those that that you know people was like yo you know I would get the calls I knew it was fake love I get the text I knew it was fake love so I talked about that you know what I'm saying I talked about this shit ain't gonna stop I'm fuck cancer it's not gonna stop. What you thought? Like, you know, I powered up. It's crazy. I powered up. Yeah, yeah. That chemo and you can that, tell. <laughs> that chemo put something in me, like yeah, I became atomic yeah. woman or or something, you know. Yeah. You could definitely tell when you listen to the project. The whole Pink Pink Honey project, you could tell that that you was on a mission with that. Like it, like it's 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 not it's not just Hey, I was just in the store and I took some songs and I put them together and I'm making the project. No, you could tell that there was definitely ulterior motive. And like if you like you got bodies because of that. So yeah. that's that's your whole you have what what they call that? They call it um motive and opportunity. What what, what do they call it? That's that's what you have. You know what I'm saying? And with that album. And very, very dope album. It's ill how how ill how we uh we both picked the same record i honestly thought you was gonna pick something up um it's on um it's on pink honey mm. um I, i'll tell you that offline i'll tell you offline but i thought i thought you was gonna pick something else um or like but, misunderstood or yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because but but no, misunderstood was on um Mm-mm. 
Oh no no, I'm sorry, that was on retribution. My bad. Yeah, but, My but bad. even Don't that, that me or chapter. But or, even uh, that though, but even even misunderstood though. You know what I'm saying? Just because I remember when you was working on that record. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just just the it be it as personal. But a lot of your records are real personal, and and you know that's dope as an artist to be able to do that and articulate that as well. Um, I'm going to ask you on your way out, right? Mm -hmm. Top. Okay. It, just off the top of your head, right? I need, this is the year end, right? I need, you know, it's lists all over the place. People do lists. Give me your top three producers of the year mm. and top three rappers of the year. So um, <clears throat> my top three producers would have to be, um, of course, uh, Team Demo. Um, yeah. Too, yeah. I mean, I, I would say everybody that I, that, I, that I rock with, Team Demo, Stan the Man, and I, I have to give it up to um, 3Q. Um, I just love their sound. Um, as far as MCs go, that's a hard one. Yeah, like, it's, it's tough because there's a like, lot of shit. Yeah, I mean, and then, you know what? I, I, I listened to Styles P. Havoc joint today, so that's mm. like that Havoc the album is stupid. So, you know, if I had to, if I could slide in the fourth one. Um, so wait, so you say, so you say you was, you was fucking with Havoc's pen. His pen is dope too, but I'm just saying as far as the production, the production yeah. for that album is stupid. Like it, 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 it had a range to it. Um, Yo, the, the half said some shit. He said, you ain't gotta like me. This is not yeah. the like me show. I said, oh, yeah. Yo, Styles, Styles, Styles went crazy. Styles yeah. went fucking crazy on the whole yeah. shit. He went he crazy. He did. He Bro. did. As far as MCs, um, shoot, uh, I mean, I have a grip playlist, and in that playlist, it's the bad seed. Um, who that? <laughs> um myself and um damn it's a toss up i'd have to say rj Payne. Oh. i'd have to say i mean it's a talk it's like conway too but rj i guess because i know him so i gotta go with home team you know i gotta go with the home team i don't know conway i mean he say some shit the it's it's, it's this one joint that i'm I love he he just went stupid. He just released it um like a couple of weeks ago. But RJ is RJ, you know, he's a monster. I mean, you too, like you get like y'all get me going. I have to say me too, because I'm nice. I'm put it out there, I'm nice. Talk, talk that shit. You I'm you talk nice. that shit. I'm <laughs> nice. Hold I'm up. nice. I'm that nice. Like if I, I like some people really need to. Sorry about that. Some people darkness, really, darkness, everybody. Darkness. <laughs> some people really need to open up their ears. I'm nice. Well, you and, know what? You I know, don't and think, not go on popularity. Right, because I don't think that it's a thing of them not opening their ears. I think they hear you. Um, you know, congratulations on them, them Spotify numbers. You know, <laughs> I think I think they hear you. I think that um, they just don't want to give it up because you're a threat. Your threat. And not only is it just rapping, it's personality, you act, um, you, you, I call it Dr. Treya, y'all. <laughs> in the studio, is complete magic. Like, bruh, like, she could sit there and she'd be like, no, I got this. I, 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 I. She does all type of shit. <laughs> and it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like, do, 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 do. I'd be like, damn, Dre. She'd be like, she turn around, she'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, damn. Damn. 
Word up, yo. She's she's definitely super, super talented. And um, honey, you already know what it is. I, I I wish you all the success. Well, I'm standing right there anyway. So, you know, su- successes, uh the down times, all of that shit. You know, we standing there, we the six, so we be going through that together. Um 2022 is gonna be a problem for everyone. Thanks. You know, shout shout the free shout god. Free god. I was about to say that because I'm sitting here thinking like, yeah, he he he's in my top five. Like I'm I'm listening to um Seven Bricks and I'm just like, he he's got Another four project. joints, in, four yeah. joints in my in my in my grip playlist. Like you make the grip playlist, like because that's what gets yeah. me going. Yeah, every yeah. morning in the middle of the yeah. afternoon, trying to turn up. I go to that playlist, so. Yeah. Another project produced by Team Demo is Seven Demo, Brick. Yeah. Free Guard and Team Demo, Six Man and Team. Y'all make sure y'all check that out on all of the streams. All of them. Mm-hmm. But, honey, I appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you for having kicking me. It with us. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it with us. Tell us what your favorite jam is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Thank you for having and, me. Nah, no doubt. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe we had you come back and, you know, Nap said he wanted to do it, but I think you and him, we gotta figure out some ways to where y'all, y'all, y'all interview me. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Out, yeah, definitely. And shout out to Naps because his project is fire too. Yeah, shout to Naps, man. That that's the Brody. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we don't fuck with nobody that's trash. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like the niggas, the niggas that we fuck with is is dope. I mean, there's some niggas that you know need to go in the gym a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? But needless to say, that don't mean they can't throw the, the bar up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They need, do, like, they need to do legs and arms. Yeah, they need to stop skipping leg day and, and show up on leg day. Let's get them calves. We're here to pump you up. <laughs> All right, honey. Yo, thank you so much. And um, we don't talk. All right. No Six Man Entertainment, Six Man Radio presents your favorite song.